Hi, I'm Daniel Foley, and in this video I want to talk with you about leading change and making changes in your life. So, one of the things that's guaranteed in life is change. Uh, no matter what you're doing, if you're trying to grow and evolve and get better, think you're going to have to implement change as you go about that. Not only that, but just even if you're not trying to improve or grow, change is inevitable in life. And a lot of people don't handle change well. And what I want to talk about in this video is how do you, as a leader, implement change and get your um, people who are following you to follow along with you and to change with you in a way that promotes peace and promotes cooperation rather than causing bitterness and resentment, resentment because you're trying to get people to um, force your way into following you. So this, a lot of this has to go back, it has to do with biblical peace. So how did I learn about this? I had a, uh, a time where I was reading through my Bible and the Lord clearly showed me that His will is always unity. That people will be unified together and working together and cooperating rather than competing. And that division is a work of the flesh, so to speak. So with, with that being said, I, I run a personal training business, for those of you not familiar with me. run a personal training business and there were some things in my business that I saw we needed to unify. We had some division going on in the business. And I was, had a plan in place to create more unity which was a good thing, but I was about to go about it in the wrong way. So I was in the process of trying to lead our clients and our staff through this change to create more unity in our business, but I was about to go about it in the wrong way. So I was about to sit down and basically say, hey, this is what we're doing, and uh, there's not really an option, this is what we're going to do. And quote unquote, just force everybody into that change, which was not the right way to go about it. So a couple days before I was getting ready to make those changes, I had a dream and in this dream, I'm driving on a road that's very curvy, and I end up driving my car off the road. And it was one of those dreams that just sticks with you, and, and I remembered it, and it kept sticking with me. And about a day or two later, I, had, uh, I got the interpretation of the dream, which said all the ways of the Lord are straight and they're a level highway. So they're not crooked. So I was on a crooked path, and then I was going to be forcing everyone into everything. And then I got, later got led to the book of Deuteronomy, where it says that every time the Israelites, uh, or whenever the, the Israelites came into the promised land, they always had to offer terms of peace to everyone they encountered before they could go to war with them. So they had to give them the option. They could make peace with them, or they would end up going to war with them. And God was with the Israelites, so it wasn't going to turn out good for the other people. So that's, that's the lesson that we need to learn is biblical peace, and that God has made peace with us. He's reconciled us to Him. But he gives us free will. He doesn't force it upon us. Okay, so God always gives free will, and that's something we need to learn from him. We're supposed to imitate him. He doesn't force anything on anybody. He's a gentleman, and he always gives people the free will to choose. With that being said, though, there's a couple things that I want to highlight. And number one is communication. So God is a very good communicator. There's a scripture that said God never does anything without announcing it first well ahead of time through his prophets. So God is always trying to communicate and foreshadow and tell people what is coming to give them forewarning of what's coming. So for example, the Israelites going in and saying, hey, make peace with us because here's what's going to happen, uh, so to speak, and giving them the choice. So God is always trying to communicate and foreshadow what's coming. So as a leader, if you're trying to lead people through change, you need to make sure you do a good job of communication. So this is something I had to learn, is doing a much better job of foreshadowing and telling people what's coming and what's coming ahead of them. So, you know, I've done this as a leader. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there probably have too, but it could be with your spouse or your kids or your staff or whoever it is, but you just kind of dump things on people at the last second and they weren't prepared for it. Nobody likes that. I don't know. I don't like it when people do that to me. You want to give people a chance to be, to be prepared and to think about it and to make up their mind willingly and choose to follow you rather than things being thrown on them at the last second and kind of forced into a decision. So that's the first thing. So you want to make sure you communicate. And then number two, you always want to make sure you give people a, a choice. So you have to give them free will, the ability to choose. So how did I handle this situation? So I went in and I sat down with everybody that I needed to talk to, and I laid out for them what the plan was, and here's where we're trying to go, here's what we're looking to do. And I said, it's not going to happen tomorrow, but we would like for you to align yourself with this and be on board with what you're doing. And we're not going to force you into this right now, but I want to let you know what's coming, and this is what lays ahead for us. Um, and 90% of the people you know, fell right in line, and then the other people gradually fell in line after that which was much better than going in and forcing them to do it. And because everybody gets bitter, if you force them to do stuff, um, almost everyone gets bitter. 
and you, get, you build up resentment, bitterness, things like that, rather than people, people making a choice willingly to follow. So that is biblical peace. Uh, like I said, make sure you offer these terms of peace, make sure you communicate what's coming, and then give people the choice, uh, give them the free will to choose to follow and, and go with that change.